Are you back? Welcome back to another 25 minute segment. And with this 25 minute segment, we will finish. I will continue probably with you, myself or with one other person, but with our favorite victims, our very favorite victims, Annette and Carlos. We will continue for 24 more minutes, okay? And um, I promise not to sermon you this time. Huh? So let's get started. Now, in the last segment of this show, I was constantly using the expression planning to. Ask me if I'm planning to go to Italy. Are you planning to go to Italy? Yes. Uh, when are you planning to go to Italy? I'm planning to go next month. Are you planning to fly or to drive? I'm planning to fly. Planeando. Pues claro, en castellano planear es realmente planear como un avión. Aunque se está imponiendo el uso como anglicismo, planeo ir ahí mañana. But in English, yes, it's used. I'm planning to go. Y es casi el equivalente I'm going. I'm going to go to Pisa next month. I'm going to rent a car. I'm planning to rent a car. Es casi lo mismo. Y se podría traducir quizás más precisamente en inglés, en español, como pienso. La, el mes pro, tengo, la, tengo intención de, o pienso ir a Italia la, el mes próximo. Pienso ir primero a Pisa. Y pienso alquilar un coche en el aeropuerto de Pisa. Y pienso ir después a Siena. Y pienso pasar dos noches en Siena. Eso de pienso también es muy corriente en español. Decís constantemente. ¿Y qué piensas hacer? Vista la situación, ¿qué piensas hacer? En estos casos, en inglés, ojo, ojo, ni se te ocurre usar think. ¿Ok? I have been fighting with my students for 34 years to tell them don't use think in these cases. All right. En vista la situación, Paco, ¿qué piensas hacer? Okay, traducamos esto. In view of the situation, Frank, okay, what are you planning to do? Or what do you plan? Vale tanto el presente habitual como el presente continuo en este caso de plan. What are you planning to do? No existe en, ex, en inglés la expresión think to. Pienso hacer. I think to do. No, se usa. I'm planning to do. Pienso llamar a Pepe. En vista de la situación, pienso llamar a Pepe, no a Juan. In view of the situation, I think to call. Ni se os ocurra, por favor. I'm planning to call. Or I will call. Puedes usar el futuro simple. But not think. To think is cuando das vueltas a un tema. Rumiándolo o meditando o reflexionando sobre dicho tema. I'm, pienso, pienso ir a Suecia este verano próximo. Is I'm planning to go to Sweden. Estoy pensando en ir a Suecia. Que si está dentro de una posibilidad y estoy dándole vueltas. Is I'm thinking about, más gerundio. I'm not planning to go to Sweden necessarily next summer. I'm thinking about going. But I'm, also, but I'm also thinking about going to Russia. I'm also thinking about visiting Egypt. I'm also thinking about going to Mexico. I haven't made a decision, so I'm not planning to go to Sweden yet. The moment my thinking process stops and I make a decision, planning. Estoy pensando en Suecia. De hecho, ya he decidido. Pienso ir a Suecia. Estoy usando pensar en dos formas radicalmente distintas. Mira. Suecia o Turquía? Suecia o Turquía? Uy, estoy pensando en ir a Suecia, Paco. O también estoy pensando en ir a Turquía. Bueno, voy a decir ahora mismo, pam, presto, Suecia. Paco, pienso ir a Suecia. Uh, ese verbo pensar cambia en inglés. I'm thinking about going to Sweden. Now I make my decision, and I'm planning to go to Sweden, de hecho. All right, planning. So, en mi viaje a Italia, hemos usado planning como 30 veces. Y lo vamos a volver a usar en esta media hora bastante también. Ok, ask me if I'm really, Annette, ask me if I'm really planning to go to Italy. Are you really planning to go to Italy? No, I'm not. Ask me if everything I said in the last half hour was a complete lie. Was everything you said in the last half hour a complete lie? Yes, it was. Ask me if I would like to go to, to Italy. Would you like to go to Italy? Yes, I would. Ask me why I don't go. Why don't you go? Because I don't have time. Ask me why I don't have time. Why don't you have time? Because I don't have a, a free day. 
Ask me why I don't have a free day. Why don't you have a free day? Because I need to work. Ask me why I need to work. Why do you need to work? Because I'm not rich. Ask me why I'm not rich. Why aren't you rich? Because I don't have any money. Ask me why I don't have any money. Why don't you have any money? Because I don't have a job. Ask me why I don't have a job. Why don't you have a job? Because I can't find a job. Ask me why. Why can't you find a job? Why can't I find a job? I can't find a job because nobody wants to hire me. Ask me why. Why nobody wants to hire you? ¿Dónde está el verbo auxiliar? Why doesn't anybody wants to hire you? ¿Por qué has dicho wants con ese al final? Want, want, why, does, why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Perfect. Annette, I'm, estoy orgullosísimo. I'm very <laughs> proud of you. Now, don't forget the question. Don't forget it because we're going to repeat the entire operation, okay? Now, <laughs> ask me why I'm not rich. Why, are, why aren't you rich? Because I don't have a job. Why? Why don't you have a job? Because I can't find a job. Why can't you find a job? Because nobody wants to hire me. Why doesn't anybody want to hire you? <laughs> Good. Okay, nobody wants to hire me, Carlos, because I'm not qualified to do anything. Why? Why aren't you qualified to do anything? Uh, because I, I don't... I, I don't have an education. Why? Why? Uh, I don't have an education. No why don't formación. you have an education? Por cierto, education is formación. No es educación. Sí, por cierto, soy persona educada, pero no estoy formada. O soy, no soy persona formada. No tengo formación. I don't have an education. Why? Why no. uh, don't you have an education? Because I didn't, Carlos, because I didn't go to school. Why didn't you go to school? Because I couldn't go to school. Why couldn't you go to school? I couldn't go to school because I didn't have the opportunity. Why didn't you have the opportunity? I didn't have the opportunity because I had to help my father. Why had you had? Pasado, why had you? Usa el verbo auxiliar did. Why did you have to help your father? Tuve que ayudar a mi padre. I had, está bien, I had to help my father. Why? Why uh, do you had? Pasado. Why did you have? to help your father. What does she want to know? She wants to know why you had to help. help your father. Is that correct? Is that what you want to know? Yes. Well, then repeat the question one more time. Why do you okay, had, do. Why did you have to help your father? Okay. I, helped, I had to help my father because he didn't have a job. Okay? Ask me why he didn't have a job. Why didn't he had, have a job? Because he couldn't work. Ask me why. Why couldn't he work? He couldn't work because he couldn't find a job. <laughs> Why couldn't he find a job? He couldn't find a job because nobody wanted to hire him. Why nobody wanted to hire him? ¿Dónde está el verbo auxiliar otra vez? Why don't... Past tense. Why didn't anybody, anybody want to hire him? Because he wasn't qualified. Why wasn't he qualified? Because he didn't have an education. <laughs> Why? Why didn't he have an education? Because he didn't go to school. Why, he did, why didn't he go to school? Because he couldn't go. Why couldn't he go? Okay, so he didn't have the opportunity. Why didn't he have the opportunity? Ah, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, it's a poor story, but that's why I can't go to Italy this, this next month. I'm planning to stay here. And ask me what I'm planning to do next month in this country. What are you planning to do next month in this country? Curra. <laughs> Work. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ask me if I'm going to take any days off. Are you going to take any days off? Yes, I'm planning to take three days off during December. I'm planning to take three days off. Ask me what days I'm planning to take off. What days are you planning to take off? The 6th, the 8th, and the 25th. Ask me why I'm planning to take those days off. Why are you planning to take those days off? Because they're holidays. Okay. I'm planning to take those days off. Ask me if I usually take Friday off. Do you usually take Friday off? No, I don't. Ask me if I often take Friday afternoon off. Do you often take Friday afternoon off? No, I don't. Ask me why. Why uh, don't you take often? Why don't you take Friday often off? <laughs> that sounds strange. Why don't, you, why don't you take Friday afternoon off? Repeat. Why don't you take Friday afternoon off? Because that's the best time to work. Ask me why. Why is that the best time to work? Uh, because most people take Friday afternoon off, so you receive fewer telephone calls.
Por qué, por qué digo fewer y no less? Porque there are many. There are many. Mm -hmm. y, y si quisiera usar less, ¿en qué sentido? Calls. No. Calls es plural. Cuando es singular o es una masa incontable es less. Mm -hmm. Porque tienes menos tiempo. You have less time, tienes menos horas, you have fewer mm -hmm. hours. On Friday afternoon, there are fewer emails, fewer telephone calls, so you have time to get things done. Ask me if I'm planning to work next Friday. Are you planning to work next Friday? Yes, I am. Ask, you, ask me how late I'm planning to work. How late are you planning to work? What does she want to know? She wants to know how late you are planning to work. I'm planning to work until 9 o'clock. And ask me what, what I'm planning to do during the afternoon. What are you planning to do during the afternoon? I'm planning to catch up. To catch up. Ask me what I need to catch up on. What do you need to catch up on? I need to catch up on answering emails. Ask me how many emails I have pending to answer. How many emails do you have pending to answer? I have about 50 emails pending to answer. Ask me how many of them require thinking. How many of them require? Require. Require thinking. Yeah. Some emails you can answer instantly, no problem. But some require making a decision, thinking, pondering different variables. Do you understand? I think about 10 require thinking. Ask me how long I'm planning to devote to those emails. How long are you planning to devote to those emails? I'm planning to devote about four or five hours to them. All right. Ask me what I'm going to do when I finish them. What are you going to do when you finish them? I'm going to celebrate. Ask me how. How are you going to celebrate? I'm going to invite my wife out. Ask me if we're going to go to a, to a dance. Are you going to go to a dance? No, we're not. Okay, ask me if my wife likes to dance. Does your wife like to dance? Yes, she does. Ask me. Do you like to dance? Yes. Ask me if I dance well. Do you uh, dance well? No. <laughs> All right. Ask me if my wife dances well. Does your wife dance wa uh, well? Yes, she does. She has a lot of rhythm. Okay, ask me why. Why does she have a lot of rhythm? Uh, because my wife has European blood, African blood, South American blood, she has, she's a mixture. South American? Well, South American, yes or no, I'm not sure. I'm From not Brazil? Sure. Maybe, huh? yeah. So she has, she's what they, what Vasconcelos call la raza cosmica. Uh -huh. Okay, it's a mix of everything, okay? She's a very interesting woman, okay? Ask me if I'm glad I married her. Are you glad you married her? Yes, I am. How do you say me alegro de haberme casado con ella? I'm glad to marry him, her. No. Listen to my question. Ask me if I'm glad I married her. Are you glad you married her? Yes, I am. What did he ask me? He asked you if you're glad to marry her. No, escucha. If ask you are me. glad, marry her. Escucha con cuidado. Y lo voy a decir lento, eh? I'm going to say it slowly. Ask me if I'm glad I married her. Are you glad you married her? Okay, what does he want to know? He wants to know if you are, are glad me. Repeat it one more time. Are you glad you married her? I did you dos veces. Huh. Are you glad you married her? What does are he want you to glad, uh, he What does he to want to know? If you are glad you married her. Good. Okay. Déjame hablar un momento con la cámara. Puedo? Can yes. I speak to the camera? Yes. You do, must. I, do I? I must know. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Do you give me your permission? Of course. Okay. Me alegro de haber venido hoy. Porque si no, no habría dado este, este programa tan bonito. Listen, me alegro de haber venido, decís en castellano. En inglés decimos literalmente, me alegro vine. O yo, me alegro, yo vine. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I came. Podríamos, forzando la cuestión y ser correctos también, decirlo a lo, a lo español. Me alegro de haber venido. I'm glad for having come. Pero nadie en su sano juicio lo dice así en el mundo habla inglesa. I'm glad I came. A veces en las películas mal traducidas o en los dibujos animados traducidos en México o en Puerto Rico, qué bueno que viniste. Okay. Están traduciendo, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. I'm glad she came. I'm glad he's here. Me alegro de que él esté aquí. I'm glad he is here. Yo me alegro de estar. Cuando hablo de él, conjugo la segunda parte. Digo, me alegro que él esté. Pero cuando hablo de mí mismo, yo no digo, me alegro de que yo esté. Digo, me alegro de estar. Pero en inglés, no. Es igual. 
I'm glad he is here, and I'm glad I am here. Pero en mi caso, también puedo decir, I'm glad to be here. Pero en el pasado, me alegro de que haya venido, o de que viniera. Yo me, también me alegro de haber venido. En este caso, es idéntico en inglés. I'm glad he came. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I met my wife. I'm glad I chose Spain as a country to live in. I'm glad I decided to be an English teacher on this television show. Okay. A person approached me and said, Richard, would you like to teach English on television? And I said, sure. Why not? Sounds fun. Suena divertido. It sounds fun. So, I'm glad I decided affirmatively. I'm glad I brought this pen because I need a pen when I teach. It's my magic wand. Mi batuta magica o mi barita magica. My magic wand. And I need a pen when I teach. Otherwise, I can't teach. This contains magic. And when I have it near me, certain vibrations enter me and I know how to teach. So, if I lose this pen, I have a big problem. So I'm glad I brought it. Me alegro de haberlo traído. Me alegro lo traje. I'm glad I brought it. I'm glad to have water on the table. So I'm glad the sound technician brought the glass of water. Okay? So, are you glad you met me? Yes, I'm glad. I am glad. I met you. I met you. Me alegro de haberte conocido. I'm glad. I'm glad to meet you. ¿Por qué tú otra vez? I'm glad I, I met you. Okay. Me alegro de estar aquí. I'm glad, to, I'm glad I'm here. Or I'm glad to be here. En esto vale. Me alegro de que haya venido. I'm glad I'm here. Eso es me alegro de estar. I'm glad, me alegro de haber venido. I'm glad I came. Good. Me alegro de haber comprado ese coche. I'm glad I bought that car. Okay. Me alegro de haber traído este micrófono. I'm glad I brought this microphone. Me alegro de haberte conocido. I'm glad I met you. Me alegro de haber conocido a mi novia. I'm glad I met my girlfriend. Good. Me alegro de haber elegido Madrid como lugar de residencia. I'm glad I chose Madrid as a place of residence. Me alegro de haber ingresado en ese club. I'm glad I joined that club. Me alegro de haber pegado a, a, a Annette. I'm glad I hit Annette. Did he hit you, really? No, you don't. Did he hit you? No, he didn't. Has he ever hit you? No, he hasn't. Do you think he will hit you someday? I hope not. Okay, <laughs> very good. Now, ask if I'm glad I met you. Are you glad you met me? Yes, I am. Ask if I'm glad I said yes to this program. Are you glad to say yes to this? Okay, two or three. Are you glad you said? You say, said. Are you glad you said yes. yes to this program? Yes, I am, because I enjoy it. It's fun. All right? Ask me if I know how many people are watching this program right now. Uh, do you know how many people are watching this program now? Yeah. I have a fairly accurate idea. I have a fairly accurate idea. Que es un oxymoron. Fairly means más o menos. Accurate means preciso. I have a fairly accurate idea. Ask me how many people are watching us right now. How many people are watching us right now? I think about close to a million people are watching us right now. This is true. I think close to a million people are watching us right now. Ask her if that makes her nervous. And does that make you nervous? When I think about it, yes. All right. But what makes you more nervous, me or the one million people? You. Right. Of course. <laughs> you pay attention to me. Don't worry about those people, okay? Yes. They're watching us for English, not for you. Mm. And they're not judging you. They're listening to how you use English, and they're learning from your mistakes. Okay? They're Do you, you believe? That, of course. Of both, course. both things. No, they're learning from your mistakes. Okay. Okay, you are like a guinea pig. Cobaya, <laughs> conejo de indias. And they're learning from your mistakes. And besides, ask me why I chose Annette to come here. Why did you choose Annette to come here? Because Annette makes the perfect type of mistakes. <laughs> she is a perfect example of what they should avoid. Okay? Right? Yes. Don't you agree? Yes, I do. He okay. thinks you make a lot of mistakes. No, not a lot. The good examples. She makes m mistakes that allow me to show <laughs> All right? <laughs> and to show how much I know. Ask me if I trained her for this program. Did you train her for this program? No, I didn't. Ask me how long I've known her. How long have you known her? I don't know. How long have we known each other? 
Uh, we know we have known, we have known uh, each other since March. Okay, so we've known each other for about eight months, perhaps. About eight months. Ask her if she remembers her first impression when she met me. Do you remember your first impression when you met him? Yes, well, very well. It was a very good impression. Okay, ask her if she was afraid of me when she met on the first day. Were you afraid of him? Of him? On. On him? No, perdona, estaba bien. Were you afraid of him when you met him? No, I wasn't. Ah. Ask, ask Carlos how long he's known me. Carlos, how, no, how long uh, has you known Jovedi? Richard? ¿Y por qué has? ¿Por qué how long has? did you know? Sigo vivo, Richard. ¿eh? ¿Me conoces aún? How mm. long do you know Richard? No. Escucha. <sighs> ask him if he knows me. Uh, does he know you? No, ask Carlos if he knows me. Carlos, do you know him? Yes, I do. Good. Eso es, en ese caso, do you know? Ahora, vamos a remontar hasta el momento que me conoció por vez primera y traerlo hasta hoy presente porque todavía nos conocemos y seguimos vivos, los dos. So, uh, le, repitamos lo anterior. Ask him if he knows me. Uh, do you know him? Yes, I do. Ask him how long. How long have you been knowing him? No se dice continuo con el verbo to know. No se dice, se dice que te conozco, no te estoy conociendo. Ask him how long he has known me. How long has he known you? You. Y al revés, how long have you? How long have you known him? Good. I've known him, I've known him for about eight months. Okay. So, about the same? Yeah. Okay. Right. And ask him if he met me in the morning or in the afternoon. Uh, did you meet him in the morning or in the afternoon? I met him in the afternoon. Ask him if he met me during my radio show. Did uh, you met him? ¿Cómo? Did you meet him during your radio show? His, his es radio mio. show. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ask him if he met me in this city. Uh, did you meet him in this city? Yes. In this city. In this city? Yes, yeah. I did. Ask him where he met me. Where did you meet him? I met him at the Palacio de Congresos. Ask him what he was doing there. What was he doing there? ¿Cómo? What? Está bien. What was you? Was you? Or were you? What were you doing there? I was attending a speech of his. Of his. Ask me what I was giving a speech about. What was you giving? Ask what him, not me. What was he giving a, spe uh, a, a spe speech about? He was mm, giving a speech about the learning process and the teaching process. The teaching process in English. All right. Ask him how long the speech lasted. How long did the speech last? It lasted for about one hour and a, and a half. Ok, el for sobra con el verbo to last. It Se dice mucho. Duró dos, duró hora y media. It lasted an hour and a half. Ok. Se dice mucho eh, por ahí. It lasted for an hour and a half, pero sobra for. Ok, last, repeat. It lasted? It lasted one hour and a half. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Con las unidades más una media de unidad, una sola unidad más una media, no se usa el número. Mm -hmm. A day and a half, a month and a half, an hour and a half, uh, a year and a half, a day, uh, what, a month and a half, okay? Ask him if he fell asleep during the, ask him if he fell asleep during the speech. Did you feel asleep? You feel is sentirse. Did you fell asleep during fell the speech? Fell is el pasado. Did you Did fall? Did you fall asleep during the speech? No, I didn't. It was very interesting. Okay, ask me if I think the viewers are falling asleep. Do you think the viewers are falling asleep? I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. Significa, yo no puedo decir, significa, no lo sé. No lo puedo percibir. Ask me why I don't know if they're falling asleep or not. Why don't you know they are falling asleep or not? Because I can't see them. But I know they're there. How do you say, sé que están ahí? I know they are there. Sí, pero yo, fíjate como lo he dicho yo. I know they're there. I know they're there. Good. Porque they're there. They are there. Sí, la contracción de they are se pronuncia como they're la palabra there. allí. There, here, there. Here, there. They are, también la contracción de they are se pronuncia idénticamente, de forma idéntica. There. I know they're there. Así lo decimos. Ask me how I know they're there. How do you know they are there? How do you know they're there? How do I know they're there? <laughs> Porque me lo dicen. Because they tell me they're there. Uh, I assume. Doy por sentado. Sí, sí, asumo. Curiosamente, I assume they're there. Doy por sentado. And we have to go. 
Time to go. All good things must come to an end. Yeah. Colorín Colorado, this program ha acabado, or has acabado, so we have to say goodbye. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you enjoyed it? Very much. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Mm. Have you enjoyed the class too? Has it been a pleasure? It's time to go. Y hay una canción. Happy trails to you. Felices senderos, decimos los tejanos. Until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Yes. And I'll finish the song in another class. I don't have time now. I have to go. Take care. Codos. Study. Es un orden. So, take care and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.